Yo, what's going on guys? So, uh, it's pretty, pretty quiet here because I, my parents are sleeping, my brother's sleeping upstairs. But anyways, I'm excited to make this video because it's going to be my first video, my first review video uh, of anything. But this one in particular is going to be a review video on Spirit Airlines. Now, the only reason why I'm doing it is because I enjoy watching uh, review videos on uh, certain airlines and to me it's always interesting you know every aspect of it you know uh, the aircraft type the flight attendants uh, um, customer service you know that all interests me but the aircraft is what interests me the most but anyways um so i thought you know maybe i'll make a video myself maybe i'll enjoy watching myself making and learn from that and go on and plus i need to make another video because it's been a very long time the last video i made was wow i didn't know i had it that close but anyways the last video i made was um a video when i went on vacation for my birthday but Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video because um, I'm very excited about it. So, and I'm very excited to go on vacation again. Finally, the semester is over. I want to treat myself to a vacation, so that's exactly what's going to happen. Um, so, why am I doing a review? I said because um, you know um, it interests me, and I want to learn you know more about. Yes. I'm, I'm gonna learn from this video I know I am because I know that I'm gonna miss out on some things and people are gonna maybe comment or whatever and say yo you missed this you missed that so that's one of the one of the reasons but uh, another reason was um, I heard a lot of people have bad experiences with um, Spirit Airlines I personally have flown with them about countless times more than six times or so and i've never really had a bad experience i never had a bad experience um only technically um technically a bad experience but not i don't take it too serious i ordered a beer and it didn't come until like 40 minutes after the reason why it came 40 minutes after is because i just waited i you know i thought she was passing by countless times and i, I thought she would remember but she never did so it took over 40 minutes for me to get my beer. Anyways, it's the day to travel. And I could have sworn I thought it was going to get canceled. But it didn't. The uh, only reason why I thought it was going to get canceled was because of the really crappy weather that was passing by. And uh, I, have, I know people whose flights from Spirit Airlines got canceled because of weather apparently um when in you know when i checked the radar the, it wasn't that serious and uh their flights got canceled too i think about two days after or, or i think it was the day after actually but i know too many people whose flights got canceled from spirit airlines uh and it was atrocious some people actually stayed overnight at the airport um waiting for their next flight the next day from Spirit Airlines anyways here I am arriving to EWR or Newark Airport or Newark International Airport or Newark Liberty Airport whatever the hell this this place has like 6,000 names but I, I you know for short Newark Airport uh, I think I got there don't remember when my flight <laughs> left um, I think it was supposed to leave at 7-ish or something. I, I actually point at the time somewhere around here, and as you can see, my really annoying hand is in the way. I think I'll cut that and put a better shot. So here I am well, going to the gate, and, uh, you know, Newark is really trying their best to cram in a lot of stores in that little airport it, th you know Newark is so so crammed up with people and I it's so ugly I, I, I can't express how ugly the airport looks the gate area specifically it's just a circle 
and the gates are all around it obviously but the seats I mean we say this for all airports not all airports have uh, enough seats for us to sit in but Newark is just something different it's just one of the less like good looking airports uh, in the world honestly it's just it's so bad it's so bad Alright, so today we're going to be flying on an Airbus A320-232. I don't know the livery name for this Spirit Airlines, um, but it's the white, blue, Spirit uh, livery, I guess. If you can help me out, put it in the comment section below. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I've seen this aircraft before flying over my house. Um, I think I do have a picture of it somewhere in my camera vault or something but um i've seen it before and uh, i was actually pretty excited that i was on it when i <laughs> just looked outside of the aircraft while i was uh um going in and uh so those are to our right the uh, big front seat i didn't want to buy one because it was just a two-hour flight and i thought well i'm it's gonna be a quick flight and i've flown in economy so so many times uh, i'm only five eight so it's not too big of a deal for me but as you can see it's pretty crammy when i when i have just this camera bag like you if i if you have a camera bag like this and you put it under the seat uh in front of you you're just not gonna have any type of room to spread out your feet uh within those and yeah you know, it's gonna be so bad in those two hours but um it it made me think whether i actually was uh, or should buy a, a big front seat for the flight uh, returning to Newark um, but eh, I, it's only two hours and uh, I, I could probably wait it out alright so here is a better look at how much space I have there you go it's 7.25 a.m. Uh, I think we were supposed to depart around 7.40 but you can see I can't I couldn't even spread my legs out any further uh, so you know if you want me to be honest with you the flight was okay like in comfort comfortability it was fine um, but that's how much space I had <laughs> uh, in, a, in the regular seats they offer Gentlemen, we'll be giving the cabin lights for comfort and relaxation above your seat and is coming in a flight into the cold bar, a reading light, as well as an air event. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy your flight to Orlando. Mm -hmm. Sir, the bag between your legs, go ahead and slide that under the seat.
speed on the set, all right? Oh, you don't have a bike glass? No. All right, so that's it. So just the buffalo trace? Yeah. Okay. So there we are arriving at the gate. Uh, overall, the flight was, I guess, almost perfect, uh, except for the cleanliness of the tray table. Uh, just the sticker there, I guess, was all that was dirty, I guess, or there, <laughs> which was not supposed to be there. But they don't even check that at all. Um, they I, I I think they never even clean tray tables, but um, like I said, I like to rate the um, experience um, based off of customer service mainly. Uh, we didn't have any delays, um, so that was okay. Um, and I have to say the customer service on this aircraft was A1. It was perfect to say the least. Um, when purchasing my, uh, soft drink, my Diet Coke, uh, I had given him my debit card and he actually called me from my last name, Mr. Alvarez, which was pretty cool. I, I, you know, you rarely get that with customer service, uh, unless you call, you know, um, but 
in person you don't get that too often and uh that was uh shocking and uh you know perfect i guess to say the least for him to be calling you from your last name uh overall i would give this a 9.5 out of 10 because um i guess we can exclude the stickers or whatever that's nothing it, it didn't bother me at all uh, just the room was the only problem I had uh, on this aircraft. Obviously, it's economy. You're, you know, most economy airlines are going to have, you know, little to no room at all. Uh, I'm 5'8". Uh, you know, my knees were okay, but I, the only thing I couldn't do was extend my feet, which was a bit of a problem because I had my personal bag uh, underneath. Um, so, yeah, um, if you enjoyed... Uh, I know I probably missed some things out, uh, which I hope you guys will let me know down in the comment section. Uh, I will be doing another uh, review here on the A321 for Spirit Airlines. Uh, that video will come out soon. Um, I will post it probably in a couple of days. And um, that actually, that has a really cool shot. I won't say what it is because it's really really awesome it's probably the best shot i've ever taken on a gopro uh, in my entire life um, it was unexpected uh, i chose the wrong seat i ended up knowing um after that shot but it's uh, i was lucky enough to have gotten that seat and chosen that seat for that particular uh shot with a gopro so stay tuned for that video uh, if you like the video, this one, uh, please give it a like. It helps out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this, like the one I'll be posting in a couple of days, subscribe to my channel. Um, and if there is any other airline you would like me to review, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Without further ado, I'm Andres Alvarez. Peace out.